am I the asshole? Or telling my sister I would put my cat down before I allowed her or our daughter to take it. Honestly, unless they are the worst potential owner ever. Yes. I'm moving to a new place at the end of the next month for a variety of reasons. I'm still looking for a place right now, but the places I've, nar I've narrowed down to right now do not allow pets. I've owned a purebred cat for the last five years now. And it breaks my heart, but at this point, I've been looking into reoming it. At this moment in America, may it might it be in Canada or US, uh, there is a housing problem. We have... Like, the problem has multiple facets, but one of them will actually be the fact that we are not having... We have way more than enough house for the people. The problem is that some of those houses are not used to be home. They are used to be like Airbnb. They are used to be like investment by some people that are just like letting it sleep until the, 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 the place gains some value because time passes. And those two things together and the fact that like people are having a harder and harder time uh, getting some decent salary at their job makes it that people cannot buy or rent a house in any big city so considering that like this is totally credible that the only option she has are sadly option that do not allow pets this is where my sister and her and our two daughter comes in my sister and her kids adore my cat our daughter have always been attracted to it like magnet this is problematic because my sister have no clue how to take care of animals and has not taught her kids how to treat them. Every time I've had her daughter over, I had to lock my down my cat in a room and tell her kid that the cat is outside playing because the two of them treat animals like toy. My sister is no better as she treats animals like property rather than living creature and neglect them. It won't go into I won't go into detail, but she owned two dogs that have run away since our oldest daughter birds. Okay. At the moment, it looks like a close friend of mine is going to be taking my cat in. I made the mistake of telling my mother this and my sister ended up calling me asking if it was true that I was reoming my cat. She immediately offered to take it and became incredibly pushy, pushy when I told her it was already worked out. She tried to guilt me by, taking, by talking about how much her daughter loved my cat and it would break all of their heart to know I would choose a friend over family. She even insisted I was abandoning the cat when I'm not. I finally got tired of it and I told her that I have my reason for not allowing her to take my cat. She ended up pushing me further on this and I told her that I would never allow her to abuse my cat as she has her previous animal. That her two daughters have no clue how to treat animals and I would rather put my cat down than allow it to be abused by her kids and her. She lost it with me and I ended up hanging up quickly after. Now my parents and other siblings are livid at me and claiming I went way overboard when I could have just told her no. She told her no. That was not enough. She told her no twice. It, it, it was not enough. So that's fine. And honestly, there are some people like that. Um, I had an ex that was really loving to acquire pets, but not to take care of them. Okay. And... We had a cat not together she ha she took a cat in when i was with her and she decided that she would like keep it i haven't been with her the whole time that this relationship last uh we stayed in the same apartment but i was not with her at, at some point and sadly the cat that i was taking care of before she uh she she she, she before when i was with her because like i was considering like it to be my cat uh, I got told not to take care of it, and honestly, it's something that was extremely harsh because the cat was super nice, super gentle, super playful, and sadly, from the moment like I stopped taking care of that poor cat, he started lacking food. I couldn't accept the fact that he was not being fed, so we started feeding it, but when I had to leave the apartment, because that that's what happens, okay? Um, sometimes when relationship ends, okay, it's, it's normal. Um, I was scared for that cat and I had good reason to be. When I came back to it, like to, to get back my mail, the cat was already dead. Like, I don't, three or four months in, 
Gats was already dead. She bought like a new ferret, a new bird. A she bought like six new animals. And I was scared for those animals as well. But like once you're out of the life of someone, there's not much I can do out of calling maybe uh, the, the animal protection society that we have in Canada. But like the option that you get at a point like this are very, very limited. Uh, so yeah, that poor cat died because probably of the owner's negligence. And in a situation where I know animal would go back and be with that person i don't say she hasn't changed but i say that with what i know of this situation there i'd be down to have that cat put down instead of being like with that as a a, a, a owner so yeah like i agree with that point i don't know exactly how they would treat the cat but up to what i understand like there's some negligence implied and I would not be down for this. 